Hello and welcome, Amudar Pratap Singh. You're joining us on a brand new uh, episode of NewsX India A-List. Uh, joining us today on the show is a very special guest. We have uh, Karishma Seth Prasad live with us, Executive Director, Platos University. Karishma, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's, a, it's an honor. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, this university, of course, is focused on children aged between 10 to 14. It specializes in nurturing life skills, leadership skills, and entrepreneurial skills, which are vital in today's fast-evolving world. The program's hallmark, in fact, is its emphasis on Socratic dialogue, transforming each session into an interactive exploration through discussion, storytelling, and hands-on activities. Obviously, an approach cultivate, uh, cultivates critical thinking, active learning, and visionary leadership enabling students to become proactive thinkers, doers, and change makers. And uh, it has a blend, of course, of expertise in law, art, real estate, and education. Karishma is certainly a visionary leader, and she's been instrumental in steering the Platos University towards empowering young leaders who are well-equipped to navigate and influence an ever-changing uh, global landscape. I have to start off by asking you about uh, the origin story, Karishma, of Platos University. What inspired you to start this venture? So it's very interesting that Plato's University is actually started in Gujarat three years ago, uh, Ahmedabad, under the visionary leadership of Yash Vasan, with the co-founders being Simon and Janki Vasan. But how I got involved in it is that when I heard about this from my partner, I was just like, this uh, program needs to come to Delhi and it needs to come to Delhi because I need my son to be a part of it. And that time I was not involved at all in education. But it was so interesting that the more I got to know about it, I just said, I have to do this. I have to bring it and I have to be at the forefront of this because this is truly what the need of the hour is for our kids. Okay. What specific gap or loophole in education did you identify, you know, that led to the creation of Plato's University or the founders, as you said, identified or saw at that point in the market? Absolutely. So, you know, for a long time, I see traditional education has prioritized on what should be taught over how and often neglected the why. There's usually a broad consensus among most educators and parents that there is a need for reform in our general education mm -hmm. system. And recognizing this need, Plato's University aims to bridge the gap between conventional teaching and contemporary needs. At Plato's, you're not just, uh, you know, it's not just about learning. It's about nurturing thinkers, doers, and change makers. So we believe in empowering our children to question, innovate, explore, but at the same time, empathize, reflect, and believe. So the idea is to create a more holistic environment and to have holistic development for the child. Right. How does Plato's University distinguish itself, though, from, you know, other educational institutions or competitors which are also out there in the market? Absolutely. So we, base, we believe we are the first beyond school in India, and we believe that our uh, methodology is rooted in Socratic dialogues. And... Uh, based on our uh, Greek philosopher Socrates, who believed that questioning, the more you question, the more you understand the real concepts, and that's the best way they can be internalized by anybody, uh, students, children, peers, adults aside. So our entire methodology is rooted in Socratic dialogue, and all our sessions are based on interactive learning uh, through discussions, debates, storytelling, um, case studies, and games. So the idea is to encourage the fun of learning, to encourage the idea that learning can be fun. Not we should learn, not just because we have to, but because we want to. Right. You know, also I have to ask you, what were some of the major challenges uh, that were encountered in the beginning, you know, during the establishment phase of your business? You know, I believed initially that it would be so hard to reach out to the parents to explain to them this unique concept, which is not like you're not teaching them math, English, uh, chess, or ex an exact life skill, but in holistic development. Interestingly, though, when we went out there and spoke to parents about this, most people genuinely understood the need for this. We did get an overwhelming response to understanding that, recognizing that there's a true need for a program like this, which does bridge the gap between uh, conventional teaching, contemporary needs, and uh, touching the emotion uh, you know, needs of children, emotional intelligence and emotional needs of children. Okay. Uh, also, just tell us a bit about the underlying model of Plato's University. Do you believe it, uh, you know, it, uh, of course you said it's, it's very different from the others uh, uh, in the market, but how does it really operate and deliver its educational services? I'd like to understand that. Absolutely. So we're actually a two-year program 
and uh, we have, uh, we divide it into four semesters, which we call quests. And each quest is further divided into four uh, streams. So the differences are my world, our world, changing world, and the brave new world. So the idea is first we need to understand ourselves. And when we are most self-aware, will we understand the world around us? Once we understand the world around us, we can adapt to the world around us. And then is when we create changes in the world that we want it to be. So that is the process and the methodology that we follow based on Socratic dialogues. Every session is very interactive, very empowering, focusing a lot on communication skills, a lot on emotional development, a lot on critical thinking, a lot on creativity, right. problem solving. Yes, yes. And in what key skills or areas, Karishma, does Plato's University prioritize teaching? You know, the traditional schools may not emphasize on as much. So life skills, leadership skills, and entrepreneur skills are what we're focusing on. So, you know, with life skills, a lot on communication, a lot about self-awareness, a lot about, um, you know, uh, oration. Uh, leadership skills is a lot about teamwork, a lot about, you know, uh, handling peers, um, you know, debating, a lot of things like that. Entrepreneur skills, a lot about financial literacy, which is something we do touch about, creativity, problem solving, and things like that. Okay. What are the primary targets or goals that you're aiming to achieve with Plato's University in the next two to three years? So we hope to have a lot more branches all over Delhi, mm -hmm. multiple branches with children from any small batches of 10 to 14 kids per batch. And we, we hope to be all over Delhi, NCR. Okay. Also, I'd like to ask you, you know, on what kind of changes you've seen uh, in the kids that have enrolled over the years? I have to tell you, the other day I was traveling from Delhi to Ahmedabad and we just so happened to be with one of the students and their parents who were enrolled in Plato's and their, the Plato night over there. And the mother came up to me and she said, before Plato's, before joining Plato's, her daughter, who is an amazing orator today, could not so much as say her name herself. She would need to be introduced uh, by her parent. And today she is one of the most powerful orators we have at Plato's. I think the changes that we have seen have been immense and truly heartwarming. And it's beautiful to see a child who is shy come out as a very confident individual, a child who is uh, struggling with emotional issues at school. And, and as all of us do in different phases of our life, to be able to deal with it in a more productive and a practical way. And that is actually what we want from our children all right, and uh, ourselves. Yes, Karishma Said Prasad, thank you very much for joining us on NewsX and wishing you and uh, the university all the very best in the years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me over here. Truly, thank you very much. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.